Hey, what's up guys? Aldrin Nastasio here with FlightPath.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about firmware updates. So if you own a DJI Spark or you own a Mavic, uh, more than likely when you first got it, it might have prompted you to do a firmware update. And these updates normally occur every few weeks or so. And DJI releases them uh, not only to add enhancements to the Spark or the Mavic, but also to fix any, if there's any outstanding bugs or anything like that, that uh, have occurred within that time frame. So I want to talk to you about uh, how I go about doing the firmware update and there's a couple ways of doing it. One is through the app itself where you're going to see a prompt on the app whether you're using a tablet or a phone you'll see a little prompt that says firmware update needed or there's a firmware update available. Uh, and another way is through DJI Assist where you download the DJI Assist app from their website and all you have to do is plug in your Spark or your Mavic directly to your computer and do the firmware update as well as calibrations through the application itself. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I go about doing these uh, in both ways as well as uh, a couple of tips that I like to do uh, in the DJI Assist app uh, when doing the updates. So let's get into it. For this first video, I'm gonna go through with you how to do the firmware update on the DJI Spark through the application itself. And these two updates that I'm gonna show you work the same with the DJI Spark as well as the Mavic. So I'm gonna show you both ways. The first way will just be through doing it through a mobile device. And then the second way I'll show you, I'll be using the DJI Assist app and I'll be using the Mavic as that demo. Uh, I've just known from the past that sometimes you will just see some issues or might have some issues uh, with the firmware. And it's always best to do a clean install on the app when a firmware update comes out. I personally recommend deleting the app. If you know there's an update available, if there is shows there's an update available through the store, uh, just delete the app and then re-download the app entirely instead of doing the update. So for the first one I'll be using is the DJI Spark. And my setup here is of course I have my remote and I have my tablet hooked up. So you might have your phone hooked up to this thing down below or you know another tablet or another device that you're using as well as another mount. In this video I'm just using the Mav mount and I'll add that information down below if you're interested in a tablet holder like this. Uh, and I'm using the iPad Air 2. And this is what I normally fly with. So I'll be using these uh, in this demo. And what you're gonna do first is go ahead and power everything on. So you're gonna go ahead and power the remote, turn the app on, and then go ahead and turn on your DJI Spark here. And once everything is connected, if there is a firmware update available, it will show up in this top left corner right here uh, when you start the application itself. So if there, is a, if there is a firmware update, it'll show in a red bar here in the top corner. And what I'll do is I'll add some screenshots on screen to show you a little bit more what that looks like. But if there is one, it'll be in the top left corner. And if, it's, if you don't see it here, if you might have passed the screen already, when you hit start flight, go ahead and look at the top left, right next to the DJI logo. And in that colored bar area, right now it says I cannot take off because I am in a no-fly zone in this area. But what you wanna do is go ahead and tap on that bar and the first thing you'll see is overall status. Now, overall status right now, if I click on that bar, of course right now it's telling me I can't take off because I'm in a no-fly zone. But if you do have a firmware update, it'll list out exactly the firmware update needed here. So, the great thing about the app so make sure you're also connected to Wi-Fi is it'll tell you exactly what it needs to do. It'll tell you if you need a firmware update, it'll say if you need a remote update as well. You'll have to do a firmware update on both the drone and the remote. So uh, you'll have some prompts here that say, go ahead and download the update for the remote and then also update the uh, update for the, for the drone itself, for the Spark itself. So both of those will be prompted here on screen. All you have to do is follow those prompts and it will go through the process of downloading it and updating the drone and the remote. If there's a firmware update, sometimes you'll see a bunch of red kind of warning signs on the left. You know, it, it'll say something maybe about vision positioning or say something about the gimbal or camera. A lot of those will start popping up if you don't do the firmware update. So before you panic, 
make sure you do that firmware update first. A lot of those triggers will start showing up sometimes and it kind of, you gotta go into that panic mode and thinking like, wow, there's so many things wrong with my, with my Spark. But really, once you do that firmware update, a lot of those will be taken care of. So you'll see some warnings up there. Uh, just do the firmware update first on the remote and on the Spark. And once you restart your, your drone, more than likely all of those should go away. And if they don't, we'll address those at a later time and treat those on an individual basis based on what the warning is. So now that the Spark has been updated, both the remote and the firmware via Wi-Fi through the app, what you wanna do now is go ahead and power everything down. Power down your drone, power down your remotes, as well as the application. So now that we did the firmware, utilizing your mobile device via Wi-Fi, uh, demonstrated with the Spark, what I want to show you now is utilizing DJI Assist app to do the firmware updates. And I'll be using the DJI Mavic for this demo. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the DJI website. And if you are trying to update your Spark or your Mavic, go ahead and go to the page itself. Uh, the learn more about, uh, in this case, is the Mavic. And when you scroll down a little bit, there's going to be a link in the middle that just says downloads. Go ahead and click on downloads. And on the right hand side, you'll see a column that says software. What you're gonna to to do is download the most recent DJI Assist software. So if you're on a Mac, you're gonna go and download the DMG, and if you are on a PC, you're gonna go ahead and download the zip file or exe file. So once you download those files and install them, you're gonna go and launch that app. You'll have a screen that just shows you the DJI Assist, it has your account information, and now it's letting you know it's waiting for you to now plug in your drone. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna be using the DJI Mavic. Make sure that you have your gimbal lock and gimbal cover removed because as you power this on, and the same with the Spark, make sure you have any covers removed because when you power on your drone, of course, your camera will go through its sequence of warming up and you don't want it to be restricted if you have that clamp or that cover on there. So the first thing, of course, you'll need is a plug, which is a micro USB on the side of the Mavic, as well as a micro USB on the side of the, or the back of the DJI Spark. Go ahead and plug that into your drone. And once you plug it in, plug that to your computer and then power on your Mavic. Once you power it on, as you can see, the app now changed. It shows me I have a connected device here, which is the Mavic Pro. Go ahead and click on that. On the left-hand column here, there's gonna be firmware, update, data upload, flight data, black box calibration simulator, and Wi-Fi settings. It'll show you, I currently have version 1.03, but they just came out with a new one on September 19th. So there is a version 1.04. So as you can see here, it says there is a latest version available and I have the option to now upgrade this Mavic to that new version. So as you can see here, there is an upgrade available and all you have to do is hit upgrade on the right hand side under actions. It'll say the whole update process takes about 10 minutes. Computer is connected to the internet. DJI device is powered on and USB connection is there. So go ahead and click on start update. So now that the downloading and transmission has finished, the DJI Mavic Pro will begin its updating sequence. There it is, update complete. Updated to the newest version, 100%. Now that the firmware update is complete on the Mavic Pro, what we wanna do is the same thing we did on the Spark and that's remove this battery, put in another one, and see if there's any inconsistencies that happen when you plug it in and power it up through the DJI Assist app. So like I mentioned before, I had some battery issues uh, because I thought everything would be all updated, but I didn't realize that once I tried flying it, the battery pop-up kept coming up on my app. Uh, it wasn't until I took out the battery, reinstalled the firmware, swapped out batteries, reinstalled the firmware again where that battery issue uh, now wouldn't show up. So let's go ahead and that was battery number one. I'm gonna go ahead and put battery number two in and power it up the same way. And let's see if the app tells us anything different uh, that we might need to do uh, with this battery. 
So no other warnings, no other things come up with this battery. It says version 1.04, current, refresh, everything looks good. Everything powers on fine with battery number two. And now that the, the Mavic has been updated, what you wanna make sure is that your remote is also updated in case there's anything on here that needs to be updated besides just the Mavic Pro. So let's go see if there's any remote updates uh, available for us. Plug in the USB into the remote, power this on, go back to the home screen, wait for this to connect to the assist app, and there it is, it says RC for Mavic Pro. Let's click on that. Current version was initially version 1.03. Now there is a latest version, which is the same as the firmware update that we did here. So we'll wanna make sure that we do the upgrade uh, on the remote as well. So let's go ahead and do that upgrade the same way we did it with the Mavic Pro. And there we go, the remote now is, update is complete, 100%. There it is guys, the firmware updates for the DJI Spark and the Mavic Pro. I really hope you guys got some value from my videos and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. And speaking of subscribers, we just passed the 15,000 subscriber mark, which is a very big milestone for a small YouTuber like myself. Uh, and I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, I've, I've definitely had some products that I've reviewed throughout you know, these past couple of months. And uh, some of these manufacturers actually have given me a couple extra to give away. So I wanna make sure that I uh, not only give you guys some tutorials and tips, uh, but I'm working with some great companies and they're allowing me to also give back to you guys. So uh, things like the Ghost Scope case for the Mavic, uh, as well as some gimbal guards for the Spark are gonna be available for a giveaway. I'll be making a new video uh, regarding the 15,000 mark subscriber, uh, subscriber mark uh, giveaway shortly this week. So I really appreciate it. Like I said, the community is really building. It's all because of you guys. So I thank you, I thank you, thank you again uh, for all your support. And if you are also on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is instagram.com forward slash Aldrin. A lot of my photos that I take uh, utilizing all these tips that I tell you about are mostly on my Instagram page. And of course, if you're interested in seeing more of my galleries, uh, go to flightpath.com and you can connect with me through there as well. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate all the support and the community that we've built. And I look forward to making more and more of these product reviews uh, as well as tutorials. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Take care.